bruh. That bitch turning on his own, you heard me? <laughs> but I'ma get it up here though. Done daughter. You dig? <laughs> now I'll show you how I chain it down. I usually put one from this end to that end, that end to this end, and most time from this track to this, but I might not have enough bucks. But I usually do that on the bigger ones. This one is kind of small, so I don't usually put one on each corner. But anyway, she on there. I gotta come back and get come back get that track loader. It's got a problem with the uh, left turning pedal. Sometimes it'll turn on its own, so I'm gonna come back. I'll bring me a spider. I'm rolling by myself now, so I'm more comfortable with the excavator, so I don't really need a spider for that. But I gotta have a spider for that track loader and if it didn't have a problem with the uh, pedal the uh, turning pedal I wouldn't have a problem with that either but anyway let me get to it and I'll show you the end product make sure that shit tight it's tight one side to the other it's tight as shit I ain't going nowhere. One side to the other. Cross the bucket. Now never put it between on here, cause that's thin, it could break. So you always wanna put it on one that's not the end. And like I say, I usually put one from here or here to down here. But I don't have anything stopping it. And I don't have a buck long enough. But that's usually on the bigger uh, excavators. Or the bigger, piece of e bigger pieces of equipment. Alright, let me get this other one. Make sure you get your bucket all the way out so you'll have enough room to uh, ignite it without running out of room. tight as you can before you start tightening it so you'll have some more the more tightening room you can get the better. Thank you. 
Lunch time, stuck in traffic. Okay, this is how you put your PTO on. Push your clutch in. Pull out on that, flip it over. Let the clutch out and you can hear it. Okay, I'm in a different trailer today. So I'll show you guys how to do it. This pin here has to come out. This pin has to come out. Always take all of your pins out before you start moving around so these things don't fall on you. Because if you break a uh, hydraulic line and they come out, you're going to have issues. It's got two levers right there. Loosen them up so you can pull these pieces off. Don't ever walk right up under them things. Well, they're okay now because if they fall, they'll hit the ground. Always walk around. Play with them till you can get them. Bitch fall on you, Lord have mercy. If any one of them hydraulic hoses bust and you walking up under it, you're gonna be ass. So that's why I always say walk out away from it. Okay, this handle moves the bucket. This is your throttle right here. This is forward. This is reverse. This is your lock. You won't do anything until you push that lock down. Throttle it up. You don't have to throttle it all the way up if you don't want it. This is your right turn and left turn. This is the pedal that was getting stuck. Back is up. You got down and up. But drop and lift up. Up, down. Okay, this is reverse. Stop. That's how you stop. Tilt my bucket up some more. Lift up some more. That's how you stop. That's forward. Okay. Let's throttle up some more. Forward. I want to go the slow I do. I want to stop. That's stop. Reverse. Slow. Or I can go fast. But I'm going to go up slow. Make 
show both of my tracks are on. Even though I'm a little closer to this side, I can get over a little bit. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys how it works. Show you what I meant by a stop. You see, I put this hook on the rub rail, but it's got this knuckle right here, so it can't slide forward. Same thing here. It's got a, it's on the rub rail, but it's got a knuckle that won't allow it to slide forward. But it's on there, and it crisscross just like the other one on the track, on the rub rail. But on the knuckle, behind the knuckle. Behind the knuckle. Wherever you're pulling towards, you want it behind the knuckle. 